Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of additive and multiplicative relationships. We will compare the two and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start with this equation. We'll say y equals x plus 2. This is what we call an additive relationship. Well, because you see here we have our addition symbol here. We are simply taking our x, we're adding 2 to it, and that's going to get us our y. We can generate some numbers on the table. And so y, we could write, is 2 larger than x. No matter what your x is, your 2 is always going to be 2 larger because you're simply adding 2. So if we take a few samples here, let's just start with some simple x's. Always like to go 0, 1, 2, 3. That gets you a nice sample. If you plug this into this equation here, you're going to put this 0 into the x, and that's going to get you a y of 2. You use an x of 1, you get a y of 3, y of 4, and a y of 5. So you see your y is getting larger by 1 because your x gets larger by 1. But the distance is always 2. Your y is always 2 larger than your x because you have a plus 2 additive relationship. Sometimes, however, instead of an additive relationship, you will get what we call a multiplicative relationship. That means you're going to multiply. And it's multiplicative because between the 2 and the x, you have no operation. Whenever there's no operation between a number and a letter, you can always assume it's multiplied. Sometimes you'll have simply the number and letter. Sometimes you have a parenthesis. But that always implies multiplication. So instead of y being 2 larger than x, in this case, since it's multiplied by 2, y is going to be twice x. You're going to take your x and you're going to make it twice as large. That's going to get your y because you're multiplying times 2. So let's take a look at what that would look like. If we extend our little xy table here, just like we did over in the additive, we use the same x's. We're going to use 0, 1, 2, and 3. We're going to double it because that's a multiplicative relationship, or times 2. So if we double 0, that's 0. Double 1 gives us 2, but this is where we start getting different. Double 2 is now 4, and double 3 is now 6. So you see our y's are getting larger. And... That is because we're multiplying, we're doubling it here. And where we really see the difference is when we start graphing these two equations. So looking at these two graphs here, you should notice that there are a few things in common. First, we have in both of these situations what we call a linear graph. They're both straight lines. They're both moving up. But you'll notice that in our multiplicative relationship, it has a steeper slope. That means the y is increasing at a faster pace than what we have over here with our additive relationship. That's because we're doubling it. Our multiplicative relationship is going to get us a steeper slope than when we simply add it. And another big thing we need to remember with our multiplicative relationship is that notice what we have right here. Our multiplicative relationship is going to go through 0, 0, or what we call the origin. Because if you multiply anything by 0, it's still going to get you to 0. Whereas your additive relationship is not going to go through the origin because you're going to take your 0x and you're going to add something to it. So you're not necessarily going through the origin. So those are a few ways that you can tell the difference between a multiplicative and an additive relationship. Now take a look at these two equations, 8x equals y and 8 plus x equals y. First off, which one is multiplicative, which one is additive? Which one, or do both, go through the origin? Which one of these is going to be steeper? And which one or both of these are going to be linear graphs? When you have your answers, go ahead and unpause the video and check your work. 8x equals y is our multiplicative relationship. It is graphed in red here. And 8 plus x equals y, that's our additive relationship. They are both linear, they're both straight lines. But our multiplicative equation, the red line, has a much steeper slope. 
and it is the only one that goes through the origin, through our 0, 0.